Hello fellow Star Wars fans, my name is Star Harper and welcome to the channel. I did not expect to make a video talking about a Star Wars mobile game, but here we are today talking about Star Wars Hunters. It was revealed during a Nintendo Direct live stream for February. First off, I expected them to reveal maybe a Republic Commando port because I had rumblings of that. Maybe we'll get that someday soon, hopefully. But yes, this will be available on Nintendo Switch as well as iOS and Android. And this will be a third person cooperative action based multiplayer game on these mobile systems. And it's being developed by Zynga, who is a big, big developer when it comes to mobile games and social media games in general. They've made huge games such as Words with Friends and Farmville, which was a Facebook game, but they've also dabbled in lots of these um, kind of games that are very quick and fast, such as slot machine games and solitaire and poker, uh, etc. They've also dealt with very big licensed properties such as Harry Potter, Game of Thrones, Wizard of Oz, and uh, Willy Wonka. So that's probably why Lucasfilm decided to partner with these guys because they figured these guys have experience with handling uh, these different uh, properties with respect. Zynga, of course, is made up of plenty of tiny studio, or not tiny, but other studios that make up Zynga. And the ones that seem like they're going to be mainly responsible for Star Wars Hunters is natural motion games and boss alien games boss alien games being um, owned by natural motion motion games this studio has created two big games so far from what i can see from doing some research they have created a game called cr csr2 racing which is interesting because it's not like a fully controllable third person perspective of a car you're basically timing um, shifting your gears from like a different kind of perspective. So it looks good. The graphics look great. And that's what this studio prides themselves on is really pushing the boundaries when it comes to graphics. Um, they also made this game, which I think is really impressive from some videos I've seen, is called Dawn of Titans. This is a real-time strategy game that looks like it could be running on a PC because you're dealing with legions of soldiers in these big units of like 50 people and there's big titans towering over and fighting and there's a lot of micromanagement so I was very impressed with seeing that. That being said, you know, this studio doesn't have it looks like experience with a third person action game. So that's something to be said because I could be a little bit worried if these guys haven't worked with something that's third person action. But I've seen other studios in the AAA space of console games do stuff crazy. I mean, you're looking at Titanfall developer Respawn. They make a first-person shooter, then they go over to a third-person action adventure. Jedi Fallen Order is one of the best games of 2019. So I'm never going to doubt a studio for dabbling in something that's not exactly in their motive to do. But nonetheless, I think that it's a good thing that Lucasfilm uh, is dealing with Zynga from a perspective of, okay, these guys know how to put out games and they've been making games for a very long time something that i found very interesting was an article from 2018 uh, 2018 that announced that uh, zynga is partnering with lucasfilm to make a multi-year um, deal for a certain game i think this is the game that they were talking about from 2018 if you look at natural motion games uh, ball sailing games their history they haven't really put out a game since like 2016 so it seems like they've been working on star wars hunters for a, a very long time so i don't think this is going to be um just your average mobile game i think they have been really building heavily into this game to make it something that's going to be worthwhile for players obviously this is going to be something far different from what we've played with squadrons or battlefront 2 or jedi fallen Order, because it's going to be on mobile it's not available at least yet for xbox or playstation systems because i think they're making it tailored for like more specific time uh based uh activities on mobile for this game um i do like that it's actually is set during a certain point in Star Wars. It's set between uh, episodes six and seven. So we know during that time from watching Mandalorian, the Empire is crumbling and there's a lot going on with bounty hunters and, and scum and villainy. So it seems like an opportune time to really get lots of cool characters. So I do think this is Star Wars's answer to maybe like Apex Legends or Overwatch or, or Fortnite because this could be that continuing game 
that could you know fund itself through hopefully only cosmetic items that's the key thing i want it to only be cosmetic i look at games that i play often like sea of thieves which is based purely on cosmetics but it's rewarding nonetheless i do hope that they kind of follow through uh with that looking at speculation for the game how it plays itself i i think they showed us four characters they showed us some kind of uh maybe a dark uh wielder um or some kind of uh, dark force user maybe maybe that's a night sister we've seen a stormtrooper we've seen uh we've seen somebody that is a wookie as well as a bounty hunter so a mandalorian maybe even so there could be four v four what i can see with that and i could see like each character um would be like overwatch where you get like a backstory everybody plays a character maybe there could be multiple skins for each character and maybe we can find out like there's comic books that tie into these certain characters they, this could be a long running thing if they plan it right and there's plenty of locales they can release like a new map like every couple months and have seasons and have a battle pass like they could really um put in a lot of uh different price points in here to keep people playing and as long as it's fair I will be open to dabbling into something like that, and hopefully it controls well. If the game is not fun, it might not last long. I'm looking at games in the past, previous mobile games in Star Wars. We've had were Star Wars Uprising, which came out, I believe, in 2015, before The Force Awakens. It was going to you know, talk about what happens after um, uh, the aftermath of the Death Star exploding, and the Empire's trying to consolidate power, and they're also trying to pull people in in these rebel revolts to try to prevent them from spreading out further, stuff like that. That game had a storyline, but it was extremely grindy, and I think that's why it kind of failed in the end. Uh, we also have Star Wars Commander, which apparently Natural Motion Games and Zynga are in charge of now. Um, you also have Galaxy of Heroes from EA, which is a z very, very big game based on microtransactions and it's almost unfair to a certain degree how much time you're expected to put in the game if you're not actually paying for items to get the same return so didn't really like that a whole much uh star wars force arena was basically like a moba um which is basically a real-time game real-time strategy you have uh, creeps of mobs going up lanes and you're picking different characters i had a lot of fun with that one because you have pairs of characters so you could have like darth vader and dr afra teaming up together stuff like that but i think this could fill a void that we haven't seen in a star wars game yet which is why i think that lucasfilm is making a big deal out of this game um it's coming out in 2021 um i'm really hoping that this thing lands and it could maybe be the start of this golden age of lucasfilm games because we also had the announcement of an ubisoft game open world star wars game which everybody's clamoring for so hey you know as long as we're not getting diluted with this product with with all these other third party uh developers working on star wars games i'm definitely up for it so what do you guys think of the reveal of star wars hunters let's talk about it in the comment section down below for more on star wars gaming and star wars in general make sure you go ahead and subscribe to this channel that's gonna do it for me star Raptor. thank you so much for watching and may the force be with you always thanks for checking out the video please hit that thumbs up symbol it helps me know that i'm making content that you guys enjoy and if you enjoyed this video, I also include two videos down below you guys should check out. And please consider subscribing to this channel. It helps support me and it notifies you guys of when I get new videos up on the channel. You can also contact me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Star Raptor.